Hey everyone, today I am at the grotto. So I made sure I got here really early. It is basically first light right now. Um, it's just before the sunrise. And I've got here early because the Great Ocean Road is way too popular for my liking. I'm going to be doing a painting of the grotto. Hopefully I can do it pretty quickly. Um, it is also a weekday, so that means that there's going to be slightly less tourists. But the Great Ocean Road gets way too busy. Um, so I'll do this painting as quickly as I can. This is what we'll be painting. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then I've just got my easel here. Those are the stairs to come down, so I'm just slightly off to the side, but um, yeah, I kind of have the best view, actually. All right, so here we go with the time lapse, and I've just oiled my wooden board, and now I'm doing my drawing up. Now, it was a little bit challenging to do the drawing up for this one because I was so close to the subject and there wasn't really any room for me to move back, so I just had to do the best I could. And so I've finished the drawing up and I'm throwing in my blue sky and now I'm throwing in the sky that's visible underneath the arch of the grotto. And now I'm just popping in the ocean in the background there and just trying to add a bit of detail to that, but I will be scraping it across with a palette knife. so. It will mostly just look one colour. Um, and now I'm going ahead and adding in this little rock pool that's quite close and it's kind of underneath the arch of the grotto and it's got a lot of reflections in it and it's very calm and still in contrast to the ocean behind it. One thing I really love about the grotto is that this is a much lesser known attraction of the Great Ocean Road. So it's got a lot less people going down to it, and I gotta say, the first time I ever went to the grotto, I really didn't know what to expect, because all the way down, you're just seeing, like, stairs, and you, you can't really see what's, what's down there. And then right at the last minute, you turn the corner, and you have this beautiful archway, which is the grotto, in front of you with this amazing view. And so it's just a really incredible place to go. If you're planning to do the Great Ocean Road, I would 100% recommend that you make time to go and see the grotto. It's, uh, it's really, I reckon, the best attraction of the Great Ocean Road. So very underrated because everyone always thinks of the Twelve Apostles when they think of the Great Ocean Road, but the grotto is just absolutely gorgeous. So the grotto is an interesting formation. It's a rock formation that combines the elements of a blue hole, an archway, and a cave, and it's made out of limestone and sandstone, and it's also a sinkhole. All right, so I've finished the view that's inside the archway of the grotto, and so now I'm working on the rocks that go around that, and also the rocks that are at the base of that. So I've just blocked in my dark color to put in the rocks at the bottom of the grotto, and now I'm putting in those rocks I'm just going through and adding a brown to add some rocks in and I'll go through and add some highlights to those after. Now I do feel like these rocks that were down the bottom of the grotto did take me a little while longer than pretty much every other part of the rest of this painting because they were kind of small and I really wanted them to look like rocks so I had to put in a little bit of extra effort hence why this bit of video is going for a little bit longer. Alright, so now I've pretty much finished up those rocks down the bottom of the grotto and I'm going to start working on the rocks that go around the outside. So I'm blocking in a dark colour just so that I've got something to work from and I will be adding in lots of highlights and stuff and I think that this was probably the most fun section of the painting to work on because I really just went crazy with the palette knife in this section and I really enjoyed myself while painting the outside of the archway of the grotto and so you can see it's fully blocked in with the dark color right now and I feel like as soon as the dark color was blocked in it just looked so nice and the painting looked so much more complete and I just felt so excited about how this was looking and now I'm going through with some highlighting colors to mark in where the rocks are and I'm just adding lots and lots of lines with the palette knife and making the rocks look really textured and layered and exactly like they were and lots of different shades of brown and yeah some highlighting colors and just trying to make it look just like the rock face which was in front of me. 
The cool thing was that as the day went on, the sunlight was coming over the top of the grotto, so I was able to add in even more bright highlights and make it look a bit like the sun is shining on it, which looked really beautiful. And it did take a while for the sun to get over the top of the grotto because it is quite a way down. It's in a sinkhole pretty much. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just adding in some vegetation that is growing over the grotto. There's a lot of um, little bits of greenery and plants and I'm doing all my finishing touches and that is my painting complete. It has been just under four hours and I have completed the painting. I'm really, really happy with this painting. I feel like it looks a lot like the location. The lighting has changed a bit. Um, so you guys are gonna have to ignore the fact that the lighting now looks totally different. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys my painting and then I'll show you guys the location again. But yeah, as I said, keep in mind, the lighting has changed. All right, so here is my completed painting. And let's go in and take a closer look. So we've got the rocks with all the plants and then we've got the opening and you can see the rocks in the distance and the beach and the little rock pool, more rocks and then rocks in the foreground. I'm really happy with that. And there's the location. I got this painting home and I realized that there were some things that I really wanted to change about it. So I went through and I changed the shape of the rocks because I felt like there was one rock that was just really annoying me. It went on a bit of a diagonal angle and it just looked so strange in the painting. Like it actually did go on a diagonal angle in real life, but for some reason it just absolutely did not translate to the painting. So uh, also I just added a couple of extra details, you know, to the, the rocks and then I went in underneath and added a shadow under all of them because in real life there wasn't really a shadow there. It looked a bit strange, like the rocks weren't sitting properly in the water in my painting. So I'm not really sure what was going on with the lighting, that there was no shadow. Maybe the rocks were just too flat in real life. I felt like it really needed a change. So I went ahead and made those changes and this is my painting complete. Here's my painting of the grotto in sunlight so that you guys can see it a bit better. So let's go in and take a look at the details. So we've got the blue sky and then we've got this beautiful rock face and that's got so much texture and detail in it. I don't know if you guys can really see that well on the camera but it's got so much detail. And then in the background back there is the blue sky and then the ocean and then we've got this big rock in front and then we go down into this little rock pool and we've got some rocks in there and then we've got the rocks in the foreground which were kind of where I was standing behind and then yeah we've just got the the rock wall going up and over and wow it's come out really nice I think this has got to be one of my favorite paintings. Just so that you guys can see it better, here's a photo of my completed painting. And I feel like the photo really doesn't do it any justice because in real life, this painting is just so detailed and I'm super happy with how it turned out. So hopefully you guys can get a bit of an idea of it from the photo, but believe me, it is way better in real life. So I'm so pleased with this painting. It's got to be one of my favorites and I, I love the details that I've got in it and uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!